with the announcement and uh, downloading of the first DLC for Mario Kart which is the free Mercedes-Benz cars as well as the free recolorings or choosing of different colors for the Yoshis and the Shy Guys all depending on whether or not you pre-order both packs for November of this year and May of next year May of next year which are the new tracks and characters of course if you don't know this what I'm talking about is in November we will have a different no, yeah it's going to be different but we're going to have a new DLC and it's basically a Zelda slash Yoshi uh, related DLC or basically a Zelda slash Mario 3D uh, DLC uh, basically we're going to have new tracks based around Zelda and the Super Mario worlds of like Super Mario 3D world and stuff like that you'll be able to race as Tukuki Taruki Mario and Cat Peach but you'll also be able to race as Link from Legend of Zelda you'll also be able to race in Blue Falcon's car this in addition to four new tracks and then in May of next year you have the Animal Crossing uh, package featuring you know Dry Bowser and in here you'll have Dry Bowser Isabella and the villager to choose from as new drivers and of course four new co courses now we don't know much about the vehicles or anything else that's going to be added but as time goes on we'll probably get more of an idea of what the vehicles will be whether they're going to be related to anything else uh, from the Mario and Nintendo worlds and I think the same is with Zelda they still have some vehicles they got to reveal there as well so we'll find out more um, as time goes on <laughs> But, you know, speaking of the DLC in the Mario Worlds, now we do know that DLC is not new to, you know, DLC is nothing new to any uh, platform system, and especially nothing new to, um, to the Wii U. Because remember, with Sonic's Lost World, you've had a Legend of Zelda pack and a Yoshi pack that were both DLC for it. But now the question is, what's next as far as DLC goes? Well, one of the things I think Nintendo might, and I'm stressing the word might, be realizing is that while it takes a while for the new games based on current f successful franchises or different parts of, the f of a franchise, well, they know that these games take time to create because they never know when the next console is going to come out. I think they're realizing that the only way they can keep... Excuse me. I think they're realizing that the only way they can keep this fresh and new, basically make you feel fresh and new, is by adding DLC. So I'm not going to be surprised that Mario Kart 8 continues, continues to get more DLC as time goes on. So I would not be surprised by that, and neither will I be surprised when Super Smash Bros. comes out and we get DLC for this. Let, let, me, let, me, let me explain. Let me explain. You see, there's a lot of characters that are obviously not going to show up yet in Smash. We already have a peripheral of characters that have been announced. Some surprising, some not. And it's almost like, in a way, Nintendo's trying to show Capcom... Um, and uh, Namco that hey this is how you do it this is how you portray certain characters like Pac-Man and, and, uh, and Mega Man in a game so again though we, we've already got a peripheral of new characters that have been revealed you know we've got most of the Fire Emblem main characters there we got Lady Palatina is now has been revealed. We have Pac-Man revealed. 
I mean, the list goes on. We have this new character. I can't think of the, its name. And I don't know what franchise he's from. He's been revealed. So now the question's going to be, will Nintendo offer DLC for Smash? And you know what? I'm pretty much guessing they're going to. Because right now they know that there's a lot of characters and stages that they have yet to do, have yet to complete, and that they need to focus on those characters and mostly those stages and whatever the storyline is going to be in in Smash Brothers Wii U. They realize that they got to focus on all of that. So whatever plans they have for maybe additional characters down the line, um, if you will, you know, whatever plans they have for, you know, additional characters down the line may have to be held off until they are brought in as DLC. Excuse me. Excuse me there. I got a little bit of the sniffles. But they're going to have to wait till they're brought in as DLC. And there is a number of characters already that are not just mo are not just spread around or spread about or will be spread about through multi platforms, including the Wii U. But you got characters that are going to be part of Wii U exclusive titles. And there are characters from other franchises that people have been wanting to see as well in Smash. That are part of these, that are part of the franchise's main parts of a franchise that one character, is, that one character who, who is currently part of Smash is a part of as well. So to me, if Nintendo goes the route and goes with the DLC for Smash down the line, this is who I think they're going to be bringing in as DLC fighters later on after both versions of Smash are out. This is who I believe, I feel, because of the connections, because of the way things are working out, this is who I feel Nintendo is going to be bringing in as DLC characters, um, if you will. This is who I believe they're going to be bringing in. All right? This is who I believe they're going to be bringing in. First of all, the DLCs I believe they're going to be bringing out, uh, bringing in. First of all, the DLC characters, I believe they are going to be bringing in to the Wii, into Smash Bros. Wii U, unless they get announced before the game is out as being already in the game, an official, you know, being an official part of the game. This is who I believe, like I said, unless they're going to be announced later on as officially already being in the game. This is who I believe Nintendo, from the Mario portion of the franchise, are going to bring in to uh, Smash as DLC fighters. I believe, of course, since you've got Peach and you've got Rosalinda, you've got to bring in Daisy. No doubt about it. You have to finally bring her in. Now, unless she gets announced down the line as a fighter, or if she is already announced, and I haven't noticed that, and I think, and I think the word of, the word would have gotten out that, you know, she was added because that's a big deal in a sense. But unless she's going to be added officially later on in an announcement, I believe Daisy will Princess Daisy will be one of the DLC fighters from the Mario universe that they're going it's going to be part of a DLC pack of a Mario DLC pack another character I believe they're going to be bringing in is part of the Mario DLC pack and again unless he gets announced later on as officially being already in the game he will be joining Daisy in my opinion as part of this Mario DLC pack and that's Waluigi Think about it. You got Wario. Why not have Waluigi? You got to put him in there. There's, there's no doubt about that. Um, you got to put again, and this is 
going back to what I said, and I know I sound like a broken record, but unless she's announced along with the two as officially being part of the game uh, before it comes out, I believe she will be joining Daisy and Waluigi as part of the Mario pack, and that is Birdo. I believe Birdo will be brought in as a fighter as part of the Mario Fighters DLC pack. I just feel it. I just, I just really feel it. Uh, that that's what they're going to do. I believe they're going to be bringing in possibly maybe Shy Guy to be part of that DLC pack. You could have actually have Bowser Jr. be part of it. And I th think along with those names, Daisy, Waluigi, Birdo, Bowser Jr., Shy Guy. Another one I think you should bring in is PD Piranha. Yeah, bring in the Piranha Plant. Bring in that Petey Piranha character uh, from the Mario Super Slugger games and the Mario uh, Strikers games. Bring him in and let him be part of the DLC pack. And you could just imagine what fighting with him, fighting as him would be like. So, I, so, so far, that's what I believe could be the characters out of the Mario DLC pack. Now, they may not be alone. I mean, this is just, again, Daisy, Waluigi, Birdo, Shy Guy, uh, you know, Petey Piranha, and who, el who, who else did I mention? Birdo, Shy Birdo, Daisy, Waluigi, Shy Guy, Bowser Jr. You know, all these characters are just, would be perfect components for a Mario DLC pack. They really would. And if you want to really make this probably the biggest Smash Brothers game in history, the next DLC pack that should be released along with it should be a DK, a Donkey Kong DK pack. And you should have there, as part of those fighters, you should have Funky Kong, Dixie Kong, Tiny Kong, Candy Kong, you know, bring them in. Those would be great fighters. Cranky Kong, if you want to. But again, King Car King Ra King Carul, or whatever his name is, bring him in. Critter would be another good addition. And those could be perfect for a DK Donkey Kong pack that could be released separately or on the same day as the Mario Fighters pack. You could have two fighter packs on one release date one featuring Mario characters and one featuring DK characters. But then, but then it shouldn't have to stop there. No. Because if you're Nintendo, and you know you may not be bringing out another Smash Brothers game until your next console is made, this is what you should be doing. Doing. You should be bringing out these DLC packs and not just like, and not just the ones that I suggested, suggested and feel they're probably going to have to do and, pro and possibly real do unless an announcement is made that some of these characters are already going to be in the game from the start, I believe these DLC packs will be just the beginning. And then, since you got Mario, you got Donkey Kong, most logical next step would be a Sonic DLC pack, right? So if you got Sonic in the game, a Sega character, you should work with Sega, in which Nintendo's partnered with, and use a DLC pack to bring in Sonic characters as part of Smash. And again, unless some of these Sonic characters are already going to be announced for Smash before it comes out, these are the characters that need to be in there and as part of the Sonic Fighters DLC pack. You got to have of course Tails, you got to have Shadow, you got to have Amy, you got to have Blaze. You got to put Blaze in there. You got to put Rouge in there and you got to put Knuckles in there. Those are the main characters you need to put in there. And you know what? And you know what? If you want to connect Sonic Boom to it somehow, you want to connect Sonic Boom to it somehow, add Percy. Percy the, the Hitchhog, that new female Hitchhog from the Sonic Boom cartoon and video game on the Wii U. Add her as a special surprise part a surprise addition to the Sonic Fighters deal to the Sonic Fighters DLC pack for Smash. That would be a huge surprise there. 
But um, but even if they don't, but even if they wouldn't do that, but even if they wouldn't do that, still you need to have tails. You need to have Amy. You need to have Blaze. You need to have Knuckles. You need to have Shadow. You need to have Rouge. You know, you know, you, you need to have Silver maybe if you want to throw him in there. And like I said, if you want to throw a wild card in and say, here's Percy, the Hitchhawk, uh, from Sonic Boom, those are the characters that need to be part, those characters overall need to be part of the Sonic Fighters or Sonic Smash DLC pack for Smash Brothers. And then, take that next logical step and bring in, since you have Mega Man a part of this, bring in a Mega Man DLC pack. You know, have Mega Man's have characters from the Mega Man universe be part of it. Have characters like Rocket Man. Have Mega Man's brother in it. Have Roll in it. You know, have Shadow Man in it. Have all these characters. And I guarantee you, people will love it. Even throw Wily in there. And you know, matter of fact, one name I forgot to mention, and I know fans will get on me about this, Eggman. Throw him in with the Sonic Smash Brothers the Sonic Smash Fighters Pack, DLC pack. Throw him in there along with those characters, as well as throw Wily in with the Mega Man DLC pack. And I guarantee you, people will love it. Because, like I said earlier with Mario Kart, and, you know, the, the DLC packs that we're getting down the line, what Nintendo's realizing is basically because they may not be bringing out new Mario Karts or new Smash Brothers, they need to do things that are going to make the games feel fresh and new still, even to somebody that might wait until price goes down to buy the game, or just might just download it for retail on the Wii U. And this is the way to go, especially for something like Smash Brothers. And then if you want to go the third party route, and maybe say do a third party DLC pack, or something like say an outsider DLC pack, Bring in characters from franchises that, you know, you're only making, you know, references to your franchises uh, with because of a partnership you might have just for the video games. You know, for example, you have Bayonetta. As part of this kind of like outsider third-party DLC pack, whatever you want to call it, you can add Bayonetta to the cast of fighters and imagine the fun people could have a bayonetta i mean imagine that you could bring her in you know what else could you do what else can nintendo do as part of a part of something that they're working on? zombie you i know that sounds kind of crazy but you can bring in a zombie a main character out of zombie you resident evil oh my gosh you know you got some resident evil games coming on Wii U exclusively or through multi-platforms take some of the Resident Evil characters and put them in Smash you know take Dante put her put him in Smash what is that other girl uh, I, I can't think of a name but she's like a female love interest counterpart of Dante's put her into the game and I guarantee you guarantee you that people will love it. They will love it. To play as... I mean, just imagine, you could have Dante going up against Zelda. I mean, not Don, Zelda, but have Dante going up against Link. People would go crazy for that kind of a matchup. People would get, go absolutely crazy. These are the kind of packs. You can call them the third-party DLC packs. Have Bayonetta in there. Have, you know... what. Well, basically, you just do Bayonetta on her own. Give her her own little pack. Make it probably the cheapest one people are going to buy. Say, here's the Bayonetta pack. And you can have a stage. And that's another thing, too. Along with these DLC packs, you should add stages. Maybe one or two stages you add as a part of it. And Bayonetta's world could definitely benefit from something like that. You add her in. That would be tremendous. It, it really would be. And then, like I said, maybe down the line, because you got Mega Man in there from Capcom, you could do a Capcom pack. And like I said, you can have characters like Dante and... I can't, can't think of her name right now. The, the female counterpart of his in Devil May Cry. You know, have her and him in there. 
have characters from Resident Evil, like Chris and Jill, have them in there, part of the Capcom pack, and people will go crazy for it. Do a Namco DLC pack, and you could bring in Mrs. Pac-Man if you want to, as part of that pack. You could bring in maybe characters from Tekken, because you did some kind of a crossover with them there. Like Jin, you could bring in as a part of that. You could bring in, uh, let's see, uh, w w what's her name? I think of her name right now. It starts with an N. Nani or Nina? Nina? You could bring her in as part of that pack. I mean, these are things that, because of Nintendo and some of the partnerships and connections they're making with these other companies, they bring in exclusive titles for the Wii <coughs> for the Wii U as well as make exclusive you know contributions between both parties between both companies like in Tekken you can dress your characters up as Mario characters in Bayonetta you could dress her up as Samus in Metroid form Zel Link in Link form and Peach in Peach form I mean what more do you have to say and to me, this is just what I feel Nintendo should do with the DLC, especially when it comes to Smash. They really need to do that. They really do. And you know what? I believe they're already planning to. Because look at this way. For example, I mentioned Bayonetta. Bayonetta is the most anticipated game on the Wii U. Just imagine how much more people are going to want to play Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2, if all of a sudden in a DLC pack, Bayonetta is, becomes part of the Smash world. Just saying. But to me, I truly believe this is something that can and probably will be done. And I think some of these packs that I have mentioned are going to become a reality. I really do. And if I'm wrong, hey, then it's one man's dream among many men and women out there that are fans of Smash, that are players of Smash. But to me, I truly believe in a sense that some of these, not all of them, I'd be surprised if all that I suggested became a reality, but I believe some of them, a majority of some of them, will become a reality as far as the DLC packs go. So that's all I have to say. Let me know what characters from what third-party companies and stuff you would like to see as you know, DLC packs down the line as part of some kind of an agreement with Nintendo. And do you agree with some of them that I've mentioned? Let me know down below, and I'll talk to you all later. God bless. Take care.